Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and the Quick Draw Pass 3 is here. So we're just going to be doing a quick video looking over that pass. So the first thing we're going to want to do is buy the pass. So we're just going to go down here within the Quick Draw Pass and we're going to buy it. So it costs 25 gold. All right, so it says the upgrade the 25 gold bars and progress through all 25 ranks of the Quick Draw Club number 3 to unlock the following rewards. 25 gold bars, the Bag Shot Knife, the Layham Jacket, the Bednell Sight, the Chatsworth Vest, and much more. Everything you unlock during the club membership and quick draw club number three period from now until October 4th, 2021 will persist after the club membership period ends. Visit the benefits section of the pause menu for details on reward and offer availability. So let's just buy it. All right, congratulations. You now hold the quick draw club number three. You will now unlock additional rewards as you play. Keep in mind the quick draw club number three is active until October 4th, 2021. So we get basically a whole month to do this one. All rewards unlocked during this period will persist after the club membership period ends. Yep, we saw that already. The Quick Draw Club has one more pass ahead and its own unique perks for upgrading again. Be sure to visit Club Rewards and Progress section of the Pause menu to see what items are waiting for you. So I'm already getting some rewards because I did some challenges a little bit before recording this video and I got myself up to uh, level 5. So that just goes to show how quick you can level up the Quick Draw Pass, but we're going to make it a little bit quicker. So I've got some collections to sell. Quite a few collections, actually. So let's uh, just get started with, I guess, these ones. There's four collections sold. That's probably about four levels leveled up. I'm going to go ahead and sell all these collections, uh, and we're going to have a little fun guessing game. I'm guessing that I will A, definitely upgrade the Quick Draw Club all the way, and B, my money's going to go up a little bit. So let's just sell all these. So we sold all of our collections and also all of our collectibles that I had more than five of. I sold them all down to five. I like to do that. That way I don't accidentally waste the opportunity to collect a new collectible because I've got too many in my inventory. So uh, profit-wise, we went from $12,122 to $33,529. So that's a net gain of $21,407. So for anyone that says the collector roll isn't worth it, just, you know... Bear that in mind. Of course, given the fact that we went way over the XP requirement for the 25 levels of the Quick Draw Club, uh, which should have been something like, I don't know, 25 to 30,000 XP, and we just sold like 70-ish collection sets, uh, I definitely think we made it all the way. So as you can see here in the benefits window, we've got uh, all the way up to rank 25 for club rewards. So the first thing we're going to do is go reclaim all of our gold because we should be getting our gold back. So here's three bars. There's another three bars and then a third three bars. And now we'll get all these four bar ones. One, two, three, four. And with that, we should have all our 25 gold bars back. Yep, look at that. We're back up at 105 gold bars. So not too bad right there. But let's just go through the club rewards now. So starting off with the first couple things for the free ones, you get an ammo parcel. So that's fun. And then 50% uh, off a fast travel post for your camp. I guess that's useful for anyone that doesn't already have that. I do have that. But let's go through the rewards that you have to pay for. So 15% roll XP boost also really doesn't help. All my rolls are... Uh, ranked all the way up so I don't need that I guess other than bounty hunter because I could use it to quickly do the 10,000 XP for bounty hunter and then you know level that up faster and get some gold bars I guess so I guess that still can be useful a sage tartan wrap so another wrap for uh, guns we'll have to look at that in the gun shop complimentary stall I guess that would be useful actually that would be very useful I mean I already own all the stalls that are available but uh, I guess that is a good one for anyone that's newer to the game because the stalls can be decently expensive uh, express your love flying kiss Okay, so that's a emote. I guess blowing a kiss could be a pretty fun emote, so I guess some people might like that. Not really my thing. We got the Layham jacket, a thick cut leather pullover with button collar and neat fringed panel. Doesn't actually look terrible. I mean, I wish it came in multiple colors. I'm guessing it's just this uh, this dark blackish color. 
But uh, honestly, not that bad of a jacket. Looks decent. I'll probably use that in some outfits. And then a cartridge wrap for the bolt action rifle. Ooh, sweet. I was hoping that they were going to add more cartridge wraps because I like the one for the uh, repeaters. So now we have one for the bolt action rifle. We'll have to check that out in the gun shop. All right, the next free reward is unkept main white and auburn, a new main. I don't care about that at all. I basically never change the mains on my horse. So that's not a reward that matters to me in any way. But then the ones for level five, we have the Van Horn belt buckle, which I guess that's pretty cool. I do like the new belt buckle. Uh, then we get some of our gold bars back. 50% um, red dead money off. Select Missouri Foxtrotter, Turkmen, or Mustang horses. That could be useful. Those are all pretty valuable horses. In my opinion, just in broad strokes, probably the three best breeds in the game. There's some other breeds that are better at certain things, but just in general terms, the Turkmen's, Missouri Foxtrotters, and Mustangs are pretty much the best horses you can get. A stamina core filter. Okay, don't care about that at all. I literally never put filters on photos. I pretty much just use photos for either gathering clips for thumbnails for my YouTube videos or just daily challenges. So that that's a useless reward in my opinion. Wild boar pose. Again, uh, I mean, I guess it's cool if you've got a big posse that likes taking photos together. A, I don't, and B, I just don't find this useful either way. So again, not a reward that I care too much about. Some more gold bars back. Uh, what do we have? The cartridge wrap for the elephant rifle. So now we also have the cartridge wrap for the elephant rifle. That's good. We got uh, some sort of a weird thing going on. Some, uh, an eye patch looking thing, but it says a convenient lens for the right eye. Reinforced strap and secure buckle fastening. I'll have to check that out in the wardrobe, see if it actually adds anything, because it says it's the Beadnell sight. Maybe it makes you more accurate or something. I'll have to check that one out. Okay, so the next free reward is at level 10, and that one is a ammo ingredients parcel, so you get some, uh, I guess, crafting ingredients for ammo. And uh, a new main for your horse. Again, don't care about the new mains. Uh, another main is the level 10 paid reward. Again, not a useful reward in my opinion. Springfield rifle, so now we have a leather wrap for the Springfield rifle, so that's cool. More gold bars, ginger wilderness wrap, a colored cloth wrap to decorate arms, so we got another cloth wrap for all the long arms. And the twin stack pass belt buckle. That looks pretty nice. I don't mind that as a belt buckle. So that's the level 10 through 15. So now we got 15 through 20, more gold bars, ingredients parcel for crafting. We got the cartridge wrap for the rolling block rifle, so that's cool. Choppy undercut, so we get a new hairstyle that kind of looks like a mullet. I mean, I guess some people will enjoy that. Another emote, this one looks like boxing something, like you're gonna shadow box or something. Some more gold bars back. 25% roll XP boost, so we get another XP boost for rolls. And then we have uh, an emote where you're Calling someone small, that one could be pretty fun to use, uh, innuendo-wise, so that one's not the worst emote I've ever seen. And then, Vitalism Studies, studies Pamphlet. So get five gold bars off a Vitalism Studies Pamphlet. Pamphlet of your choice requires Naturalist Roll 5. Might use that one, I don't think I have the rabbit Vitalism Studies yet. Then we got the Gallywood wraps, so got some boxing looking wraps, that'll be fun for Fight Club. I guess they look decent. Some, some outfits could benefit from that, I don't mind that one. We get the cartridge wrap for the Carcano rifle, more go uh, gold bars, another main, don't care about that at all. A goggle mask, so we get a mask fashion from a knotted bandana and a pair of thick goggles. I guess I've seen worse masks in the game. Uh, I don't think I'll ever use this, but you know, whatever. More gold bars. We get the bag shot knife, which I guess is a pretty cool looking hunting knife. I don't mind that. And the Chatsworth vest, which I gotta be honest, uh, that doesn't do it for me. I mean, who knows, maybe sometime in the future it'll work for an outfit, but uh, right now that mostly looks like something I'll probably never wear. So that is all the rewards for the Quick Draw Pass 3. Let's go to the weapon shop and take a look at some of those weapon things that we got. So it looks like we mostly just got, obviously, new wraps for most of the rifles. So we'll go to the leather wraps. There's a cartridge wrap, just has three of the large cartridges on the back. That looks pretty nice. I don't, I, I think that looks nice. There's a cartridge wrap for the uh, varmint rifle. There we've got the cartridge wrap for the uh, Springfield rifle. It's got the bullets sideways. That looks pretty cool. There we got the one for the bolt action rifle. There's the one for the rolling block. And there we have the one for the Carcano rifle. I like that. The bullet pattern on all these rifles seems to be slightly distinct from each other. So it looks like they didn't just do the exact same wrap for all of them. So I actually, I appreciate that. All right, that's what our Beadnell site looks like. And apparently there's just the one color available for that. So I guess I'll try that out and see what that does, if anything. There's our goggle mask. I guess it looks pretty silly, but who knows? Maybe it'll be fun for the Halloween pass or something, because I guess it looks kind of spooky. There's our Layham jacket. Again, like I said, I don't mind how it looks. It'll probably come in handy for certain outfits. I wish there was multiple colors because this would be useful in a lighter buckskin kind of color. I could use that for quite a few famous historical outfits, but I guess the black one is all we get. Uh, maybe later we'll get a different color for it. Yeah, there's that ugly vest again. Like I said, I just don't see myself using that very much, but I guess we'll have to see. It's got a pretty cool pattern on it, so maybe at some point in the future I might use it for a native type character because it's got kind of a 
got kind of that feel to it. So I guess that could be useful for some people. And we got our gloves. So these are actually gloves. They're not gauntlets. So I was I was curious what they were actually going to be. But yeah, those uh, rough knuckle looking glove things. They, they don't look bad. I think they look pretty cool. Got a rugged look to them, so might use those for certain outfits. There's our Van Horn belt buckle, so that's not bad. And then this twin stack pass. I guess those are okay. And I guess that appears to be pretty much it. I guess we can see if that sight does anything. I'll take something out without a sight. Handgun, maybe. Maybe just one handgun. Uh, maybe my repeater? I don't think it does anything. Maybe I'll go into first person. It doesn't appear to do anything, so I guess it's just for appearances. That is the Quick Trap Pass 3. Honestly, probably the weakest one so far. I Like I said, there's a couple items. Like I said, I like this jacket. It's decent, and the, the gloves are alright. I like the cartridge wraps for the rifles. Honestly, not too much content in this Quick Trap Pass, if I was being honest. I think it was, uh, especially compared to the first one, which gave us some unique shirts that were great, and a unique weapon variant, and a couple other nice things. Then the second one, where we got a full row barrel outfit, which I was actually a pretty big fan of. This one is probably the least content so far. But that is where we're going to end today's video. So I hope you liked today's video. I hope you found it useful or at least entertaining or interesting. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, maybe you can let me know which item out of all those ones that I just showcased is your favorite or the one that you want the most or maybe your least favorite. Do you agree with me that rewards like photo filters and horse mains and stuff like that are totally meaningless and aren't actually adding any type of content to the game? If you have any thoughts like that, let me know any of that down in the comment section below. And of course, lastly, if you haven't already and you enjoy this type of content, definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date on all my content going forward and you'll be helping my channel grow, which is a noble goal all in of itself. So with all that in mind, thanks a ton for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.